Okay, so um, earlier I made a video on soldering up the um, KISS ESCs. Um, I went ahead and I have those all installed to my Alien. Um, and now I thought I'd make a quick video on flashing these ESCs. Um, as I said previously, or maybe in other videos, um, please remove the props um, from your quad before doing anything with the ESCs. Um, there's flashing on the props when they mold these things and they are very sharp and they will cut you. <clears throat> so please remove your props. Okay, so first thing we're going to go ahead and actually plug the battery into my area. I'm going to let everything kind of boot up. It's armed. Telemetry should be active on all the ECs. I'm going to go ahead and start the KISS GUI. Make sure you're using um, KISS GUI, uh, the version 2.0.0. If you don't have 2.0.0, go ahead and go to flyduino.net. Go to the download section. Um, scroll down, you'll see all downloads. <clears throat> Once you're into all downloads, you'll see the GUIs for Android, iOS, Windows, and OS X. Go into here. There's actually two versions he has now. Um, so it says, please uh, don't use uh, 2.0.1 yet. 2.0.0 um, seems stable. I'm using a Mac, so I have the 2.0.0 DMG already installed. And that's what this is here. So, um, go ahead and plug in the USB cable to the drone. Go ahead and say connect. And since the battery is installed and it's operational, you can't really change much of the settings on these, this screen. Um, you can see down here, um, using the KISS FC version 2, F7, 1.3, RC32. Um, but we can go to the ESC flasher, say so I know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not sure why two ESCs didn't load up. Let's just hit save, disconnect, connect again, and you'll see flasher, know what I'm doing. Sometimes the GUIs do that, just go back into it, don't freak out. Um, now everything is reading correctly. Um, if you're wanting to select or download the firmware, in this case I'm already got 1.2. Um, so I said I'm not sure that's an L or an I. Um, I have my firmware uh, loaded locally. You can also do the select remote firmware. Uh, it's already at uh, one point, or I'm sorry, the 32 amp ESCs. Uh, we already have the 1.20 uh, voice. It's a stable version. We'll go ahead and show you the flash process now though. Say download firmware. It's downloaded and we'll go ahead and reflash these anyways. So now you can see the lights on the ESCs are flashing um, and the progress bar will start counting um, up to 100%. Um, we'll kind of fast forward through this part until we get to the end and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so now the flash is done. Um, as the screen says, for safety reasons, communication with the KISS FC has been terminated. Please unplug your battery and reconnect your with the KISS flight controller. So we'll go ahead and disconnect the battery. Unplug the cable from the KISS FC. 
back into the computer. Say connect, and now we're back in. So you can see here we're in the configuration tab. Um, this is all now active because we have we don't have the battery actually plugged in. Um, advanced tab. Um, some people have a little bit of issue with the orientation. I've heard reports where the pitch or roll or yaw has been, uh, you know, some numbers put in here um, by default. Um, not sure how accurate that is, but if you have your flight controller set up forward facing, make sure these are all set to zero, zero, zero. Um, advanced output should be okay. Rates, TPA. ESC or FC flasher and back to the ESC flasher. Um, it won't do anything now, but um, let's go ahead and disconnect. Disconnect from here. Plug the battery in. Let the flight controller beep a couple times. Plug it in. Say connect. ESC flasher, know what I'm doing. Everything showed up. Um, we'll have to check here. Um, make sure the reverse motor direction is active on all four or the proper motors. Hold on one second. Hey, okay. transmitter now. We'll go ahead and see if the motors are all spinning the correct way. Our motors. So on KISS uh, quads. The motor orientation is one, two, three, four. So starting here, one is spinning the proper way, two is spinning the proper way, three is spinning the proper way, and four is not. So we got to change four. So in the uh, motor settings here, reverse motor direction, checkbox on four. You notice the save box turn from green to red. Um, that means the data is not saved. If we hit save, it changes from red to green and now it should be good so we'll go ahead and try it again one is spinning the proper way two is correct three is correct and four is correct so everything's saved everything's good um, we'll go ahead and say disconnect here we'll actually disconnect it from the computer and plug it I typically go through and unplug the quad before I go flying or do the hover test. I'll plug it back in. Sensor lost. And I'll go through and just double check everything. One is correct, two is correct, three is correct, four is correct. So everything should be good. Um, I do want to say that I do have idle up on this. Um, instead of air mode, so that's why the quad's not bouncing around right now. If I do the idle up, you can see it's working correctly. A quick little test I'd like to do too is just give it some juice and make sure it doesn't really kind of freak out. Everything's working properly, so the next step will actually go out and uh, do a hover test. I uh, hope this helped, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.